parasitic infections, we're looking at some of the common parasitic infections, which include the helminths like schistosomiasis, hookworm disease, African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness, cryptosporidiasis. Schistosomiasis or bilharzia is a snail transmitted waterborne parasitic helminth. Hookworm or soil transmitted infection is caused by the nematode parasites. Okay, so this is how schistosomiasis develops. So acute schistosomiasis or catayamas fever may occur weeks after the initial infection. Okay, so step one is the, the larvae are in feces and in urine and the eggs hatch and release microcidia. And this microcidia penetrate the snail tissues. Then in the snail you have sporocysts. In this process, you have cercariae released by snail into the water, which are free swimming, which are taken by the humans and they penetrate the skin. Cercariae lose their tails during penetration and become schistosomial, and then they go into circulation and then they migrate to portal blood in liver and mature into adults. Then, paired adult worms migrate again and to the mesenteric venules of the bowels and the rectum, where they lay eggs and circulate to the liver and shed in the stools. Symptoms, fever, cough, abdominal pain, diarrhea, hepatosplenomegaly, isnophilia, portal hypertension with hematomesis and splenomegaly, cystitis and urethritis with hematuria, pulmonary hypertension. These are the main symptoms of schistosomiasis, fever, cough, tummy pain, diarrhea, hepatosplenomegaly, Isnophilia, portal hypertension, cystitis, pulmonary hypertension. Clinical presentation is also known as a swimmer's itch. Most often occurs two to three days after invasion as an itchy maculopapular rash on the affected area of the skin. Diagnosis is based on the following clinical signs and symptoms, history of living in an endemic area, Serological tests for antibodies and parasite antigens, finding the characteristic eggs. Microscopic identification of eggs in stool urine is the most practical method for diagnosis. Stool examination should be performed when infection with Schistosomiasis mansoni or Schistosomiasis japonicum is suspected. Urine examination should be performed if Schistosomiasis hemat hematobium is suspected. Eggs can be present in the stool in infections with all Gistosoma species. Treatment is topical or systemic steroids, can be for cercarial dermatitis and severe acute Gistosomiasis. Drug of choice is praziquantel for infections caused by all Gistosoma species. Single oral dose of 40 mg per kg is generally sufficient to give cure rates between 60 to 90 percent and reduction of 90 to 95 percent in the average number of eggs excreted. Examining queen has been effective in treating infections caused by schistosomiasis mansoni in some areas in which praziquantel is less effective. Patient education is always very very important. Avoid contact with water known to contain cercaria. Provide safe water supply to the community. Construct footbridges across infested rivers and streams. Provide safe recreational bathing sites. Prevent water becoming contaminated with the eggs by health information on excreta disposal, treating infected persons, providing sanitary facilities. Taking environmental measures to prevent seasonal flooding, which results in an increase in snail numbers in transmission. Treating water supplies by using a chlorine disinfectant wherever possible. Storing the water for 48 hours to allow time for any cercaria to die. Using filter systems at water inputs to prevent cercaria from any.